David, we're going to make a homemade fallout radiation monitoring instrument, as you know. But first, uh, I'd like to explain, uh, most Americans know practically nothing about this subject, and I'd like to explain uh, why it's so important to have a instrument that measures radiation. Uh, well, you, you already know that you can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't taste it, and uh, <clears throat> therefore, uh, since it's a changing and, and danger, uh, it's highly important that you have an instrument. Now, there are two kinds of instruments. They're dosimeters. Mm -hmm. Here's a, here is a uh, dosimeter, and it measures the total dose from the time uh, it's charged uh, to, to, say, if you, you're sitting in a shelter mm -hmm. and you need to know how much dose you've received in the time a dosimeter uh, integrates, adds up all the doses. The other instrument is a dose rate meter, uh, and a dose rate meter measures, <clears throat> for example, Röntgens per hour. Uh, this is the most useful, especially if you're moving about, because you know what the danger is right then, not, not what the, the, the total is. Uh, they're um, excellent instruments. Uh, this instrument here is a Finnish instrument, better than any made in the United States, Walikoi. <coughs> and you notice I have it in a, a plastic, clear plastic bag. I can operate it with this on, but just so people, you can see it better, I'll take the cover off. Okay. Uh, here, here is, it has a check battery, and on, on the green here, that means the battery is good. Then the next is, uh, readings are in Röntgens per hour, and you notice it's zero. The reason for, for that is that, um, well, that, that is by certainly a, a single Röntgen, which is a thousand milliroentgens, is a dangerous dose by certainly by peacetime standards. Uh, now we have gone to milliroentgens per hour, in other words, a thousand times the sensitivity, and we put the, the speaker on, and uh, here, here, here the click, click. Now th those are, that's the natural background, which means uh, gamma rays are coming from the bricks and through the floor, and also cosmic rays. It's very irregular. Uh, there's not nearly the radiation here. There's another click. Yeah. Now you take a little a bit of uranium here, or this isn't dangerous. I wouldn't have it here, but uh, uh, th this rate is uh, before. Well, now you see it's getting hotter. Cooking constantly you now. Now it's constant. And if I move it, I'm put here. Here is the port of the opening, and it's 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 uh, chattering away. However, it's still and uh, not reading uh, quite one milliroentgen per hour. Uh, the dose in most of the United States is around, in a whole year, is a hundred milliroentgens. Uh, in Colorado, where I live, it's about 150 milliroentgens per year. So, so this, this rate is, uh, well, obviously if, it's, if it were at one roentgen per hour, it would take 150 hours. To get, to get the same, give the same total dose as we get in Colorado, or roughly here in, in a whole whole year. Uh, these are these are expensive. The <coughs> uh, the present uh, model of, of a Finnish instrument made by essentially the same company is uh, over a thousand dollars, and it's a, a military instrument. Supposedly, you can drop it from one meter, but I don't drop this one. <laughs> uh, I put instructions here. Uh, if I were away from home and my wife had to use it, or anybody had to use it, you tend to forget. And it's a good thing to, to put uh, basic, you might say, review what dose and dose rate mean and how to convert one to the other. Well. Unfortunately, there, uh, there are no such instruments in the United States as good as that, and uh, 
I'm speaking for war purposes. They're, they're much better ones and much more expensive ones for civilian use. Then you can jump uh, from that to uh, an instrument here that was developed. I, won't, I promise not to shoot you. I, I don't put point guns, even toy <laughs> ones that look like guns. Uh, this has the big uh, uh, advantage of not having batteries. Uh, this instrument, of course, if your batteries, anything goes wrong with the batteries, plus uh, many other uh, failures, you're out of luck. Uh, but uh, this, I won't go into detail, but it's a piezoelectric charger, and by the distortion of a crystal, you convert mechanical energy mm -hmm. into electrical potential and can charge the dosimeter. Unfortunately, uh, this is not being produced, and it appears likely that it, it won't be even perfected. And, and produced in this country. Many of the instruments that are produced are uh, either their range is too low. For example, uh, one uh, leading uh, manufacturer of radiation monitoring instruments uh, sells as part of their uh, kit for war use an instrument that reads up to, well in one version, a thousand millirunkins. Well, if you know nothing about it, a thousand millirunkins, that sounds impressive, but that's just one runkin and since, uh, per hour. It's, it's a dose rate meter, and uh, since it takes about 350 runkins on a re relatively short-term dose to what's called the mid-lethal, the 50-50% chance of being fatal, I'm talking about post-attack, uh, people buy these instruments uh, and the war uses, useless. Uh, some of them are worse than that. Uh, here, here's one of the ones that is, is sold, uh, military grade materials and so forth. And it's ra re relatively, it's, it's quite accurate at low dose rates, say one, two, even up to ten runkings or so. Mm -hmm. But a test of one uh, instrument's one of these instruments at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, when it should have uh, read uh, uh, 300 runkins an hour. Oh, wait a minute, that wasn't that one. Uh, it, sh it should have read about 200 runkins per hour, and it read 15 runkins per hour. Well, that's worse than going to zero, because a person could go out and uh, think he's receiving a dose that he could work for hours, and he'd be receiving a fatal dose. Uh, a friend of mine out in California bought an, another one of these instruments and tested it uh, when it should have read 300 runkins per hour, and it read 16. So this is particularly bad. And you, you asked me before, well, why doesn't the government do something about this? Uh, you can sell any kind of, of radiation instrument for war uses, and essentially there's no control over it. Uh, which is a bad situation. And the instruments we do have, uh, most of them are 25 years old. I mean, I'm talking that the government has. And most of them are stored where if a nuclear war uh, struck us, uh, they're in cities and blast and fire would knock most of them out. 